what's up? I am just here eating my Chick-fil-A. What was supposed to be breakfast, um, but they were out of chicken biscuits, and so I had to get a regular chicken sandwich instead. But you know, it's fine. Anyway, eating my Chick-fil-A in the Trader Joe's parking lot. Oh, <laughs> and I got a lot of stuff in the car with me. You wanna know why? It's because today is moving day. Just picked up the keys from our lovely property owner, Buster. It's July 5th and we have been living with Jen, one of Katie's friends, for the last couple weeks since we reported in on the 20th, one of those days. We've been working for two weeks and are finally able to get in our new house today. Nolan is on a two-day shakedown cruise starting this morning, so he is not here to help me move in. But my wonderful cousin William is going to be living with us, and so he is here to help me pick up all my Facebook Marketplace furniture finds and carry the heavy boxes at least into the garage. So this is one car load. We got the trailer already parked at the house. Got the trailer parked at the house. Now we're gonna go back to Jen's and then no one's leaving tomorrow and I'm moving in. Yep. And then there's some stuff in Jen's car that she's gonna help me take over later too. I'm here to get her a gift card for letting us stay in her house for free for a couple weeks. Yesterday was 4th of July. We just hung out at Anna Claire's house and with their family. We went to the beach in the morning and then just went back to the house and yeah it's crazy because I think the last time I recorded myself talking was the night before the wedding. Hello future Erin or whoever is watching this. I trying to find a good line here. I just wanted to hop on here and tell you a little bit about how I'm feeling and what I'm learning and yeah all that. It is currently I think the 15th of May and I'm getting married in four days graduating from the academy in three and I'm currently sitting in the hotel parking lot. Fam is up there. Nolan's fam is at his Airbnb. Oh there's a lot going on but right now I am just like I feel like it's really important to tell whoever's watching this in the future that just because all the good things in life are happening, graduating, getting married, hanging out with family, none of that brings fulfillment and brings peace. The only thing that does that is God. Um, and I admittedly have not been like spending a lot of time with him because um, I've been spending a lot of time like doing these other things that need to be done. And I feel like I've been thinking about him and these things and trying to glorify him through my work. But I haven't spent time alone with him and I haven't put him first as a priority. And you know, our God is a jealous God and he wants our full attention and he wants the best of us, not the, the leftover at the end of the day. And so keep the first things first. Prioritize your time with God. And the only way you're going to have peace, even amongst the really, really good circumstances, is if you're connected to him and keep in mind the things that are actually everlasting remain connected to the source of life and yeah but other than that as an update things are really really good you know all the fam is here grandparents get here tuesday it's cool hanging out with both my family and nolan's family but also like we haven't really had any time to like connect and there's been so many logistics how, how are you feeling that? today nolan? i was about to talk logistics that's all we're talking you know what logistics were you about to talk? We're just moving out. Well, remember I gotta print stuff? What do you gotta print? The parking plan. And... I have to go drop oh, off our covers. Plan. Then go to the fold. Then I'm gonna go get nails done. Mom and Ann. Wait, should I wear this shirt? Yeah. Um, not, I don't drive camera, but I have this one. The one we got a costume. Sure. Yeah. You think I throw this one in there? Yeah. 
Okay. So I guess for whoever's watching this in the future, if you're getting ready for a wedding or whatever big thing, you take time to like not think about the logistics and to not just be in go, go, go mode. Just a reminder that if things look perfect, they're not always perfect. And that, again, the only source of true contentment comes from God. What are we doing, Nolan? Well, we are now ensigns. We have just graduated and we are heading out for the last and final time. Wrapping everything up. Yeah, that's right. We're pretty hungry. It's been a long, long day in the sun. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go meet up with our families this afternoon. Get ready for the wedding tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? A wedding. What wedding? I don't even know. I'm like brain dead. <laughs> but something's tomorrow that's all I got that's all you got it's a wrap look last time past crown park oh wait no we'll be back <laughs> oh yeah we'll be here tomorrow but last time in Jay's Hall yeah I don't really feel it yet I just feel like I don't know what I feel and so it's been a while since then like a month and a half and I think I realized that I video every single time I'm alone, which hasn't been very often since I've been married and with Nolan all the time. And now that he's gone on shakedown and then leaves for underway on Tuesday, I'm really sad. Um, but I think I video more when I'm alone. So maybe that'll be good. I'll vlog the times when we're not together so you can see what I'm thinking when we're not together. Anywho, yeah, the wedding was good. We'll do some more updates about life later today, but I'm gonna eat my Chick-fil-A and then take you along the moving process as I do it semi alone, but also with some pretty awesome people, so. I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff here and then I'll work it from here inside, but we're gonna go through the main door. Hopefully we can get some either grass or flowers planted here so it looks nicer and get the porch all cleaned up and you a nice welcome mat maybe. But yeah, screen door. I wonder if the doorbell works. Nope. No doorbell. Sucks. All right, so you come in and you have one storage closet back here. Yep, um, and the stairs that go up. Yep, stairs go up. This is the garage door, so that goes out there. And then you got the hallway nice under the stairs area. This is our kitchen. So you walk in this door and there's some nice open space here. I found like an uh, island on Facebook Marketplace, so hopefully that'll fit nicely here. So we can like sit at the bar area and then also I can have it for extra counter space. And then got all the cupboards, microwave, dishwasher, stove, the fridge, which is semi-clean. I'll have to clean pretty much everything out once we get our cleaning supplies out of the trailer. This is the pantry. So, yep, gotta have to clean that too. Um, and then we worked on the hallway. And <laughs> here's the bathroom. I just went in here. So I bought toilet paper because I knew that there was a bunch of things I would need when we first moved in, like toilet paper. And then I rushed in here to go to the bathroom and I forgot the toilet paper in the car. And so for the first time going to the bathroom here, I didn't have toilet paper, but we got some now and we're good to go. <laughs> anyway, you <laughs> come in here, you have this nice dining room area. We'll definitely get a nice rug in here. Try to clean off the walls a bit and then probably hang some stuff, hopefully. These lights, I think, are all different light bulbs. So we have to get some of the same light bulbs, hopefully. And this is a living room. It has a fireplace, which we probably won't use. Um, but we'll put probably like a TV stand. And if we get a TV, a TV there. If not, then I don't know. I'll probably put my chair in that corner or by the fireplace here and then and the couch will probably go here. And then we have this nice bar back here that I have no idea what we're going to do with. So I'll we'll probably just put some plants on it, honestly. Jen says that she thinks this is a fish tank because it has like a thermometer thing here. So yeah, but there's a sink back here and then 
outside. I don't know if I can open this. Oh, there we go. We have a little deck. Um, it's not very well kept up here and you'd have to rake constantly because of these trees. But anyway, we'll see what we do with this area. Maybe get some string lights. I don't know. We'll see. There's some wires that they're gonna come fix hopefully next week. Um, Cause we definitely don't want them just hanging there cause they don't go to anything. So they're gonna come fix that. And like I said, they're painting the outside and hopefully when we're underway, they're gonna come paint the inside so that there's not as many scuffs on the wall. But we'll see. Oh, and this is my nice friend, Mr. Dead Cockroach. Cool. All right, let's head upstairs. These lights are like a three-way light. So hopefully, it's like magic. There's one downstairs and two up here. And they only, oh, there we go. Still not very bright. But let's start with the master bedroom. Well, let's actually start with this hallway space here. We'll probably hang something on the wall. Maybe put a little corner stool in there with the plant. I don't know. But in here, I actually really love this ceiling. It has like the boards going across and I like the color. Um, we're gonna go with like a neutral and then sage green theme in here um, and then keep these these blinds which are kind of fun um, so yeah this one looks overlooks the cul-de-sac the closet is a pretty pretty decent size i'll definitely have to get the cobwebs out of here and there's no light in here so we'll have to figure out if we want to put some sort of temporary light in there but yes and then the bathroom I would call it a master bathroom, but it's really not very big. <laughs> so bathroom, toilet, sink, you got what you need. So then there's two more bedrooms and another bathroom on this side, but you got this linen closet there. Uh, and then one bedroom, oh, this one overlooks the road. So the backyard is back there. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. These closets are also not a bad size. Like for guests, they have what they need. <laughs> this one, this room will probably be like an office space if we get like a desk so Nolan and I can come work up here. And then we'll have this one be the guest bedroom just because it's the closest to the bathroom. So William will probably stay in here these next couple of weeks. Same, this one is a little bit bigger, this closet is, but yeah. Need a vacuum and clean up here and Definitely need to clean this bathroom. This one's the biggest bathroom. And it's not bad, but the old tenants have like some old hair and random gross stuff in there. So, anywho, the vents are old and kind of gross and the shower head's a little old, but I feel like I'm down topping my house, but I'm gonna make it look good. We're gonna clean it up and yeah. <laughs> and then we do already have a washer and dryer, which I thought it was just gonna be the hookups, but it's not. And so, that's nice, they're older, but they'll make do. So yeah, we'll revamp that. And that's pretty much it for the house. Okay, do you even remember what we bought? What did we buy? At Target, we just spent $600, got a lot of deals. We spent $600 because what did we get? We got a Dyson, back. no, I got a huge pot. We got some nice Casa Luna comforters and some bathroom rugs. We got shower curtains, all this stuff that's been on my list for a while and I've been excited to buy it. So, yay. And we got military discount. Yeah, military discount, 4th of July. Everything was on sale anyway, which is cool. Hope you do. House necessities, right? kitchen stuff it's come a long way but it also feels so unfinished that it's really hard to feel like I've come a long way uh, yesterday Kyojin came over which was a big help and then William and Anna Claire here were here too 
Today I had a long, long day of work because we had the ammo on load, which just was exhausting, and I had to con, and then it's just hard to get critiqued on things that you know you're supposed to do, but that you just didn't have time to do. Um, Cause that makes you feel like a horrible leader. But I'm doing my best, and I'm tired. So, I got my nice new KitchenAid scissors. Um, but I'm trying to open my bed and clean the bedroom so I can sleep tonight and then clean the bathroom so I can take a shower tonight. And there's a lot of things that Nolan asked me to do when he was gone that I haven't gotten to. So I really need to get to those things. I don't like being in the house by myself because every time like something moves, I'm like freaked out. But I'll get over that. So yeah, here we are, trying to open my mattress. And William's gonna get back later. So someone else will be sleeping here, but for me, or for now, it's just me. And I'm really excited for Nolan to get back tomorrow. So, yeah. And now, I just wanna get, at least like five hours of sleep tonight. Ah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that big box. But maybe I'll hide in it and scare somebody sometime. Directions. I don't need those. Holy smokes. This thing is gonna like explode if I open it. I don't even know how to do it. Okay, now the thing is like alive and awkwardly expanding. Oh, oh, brother. We got a queen size bed because I like to sleep nice and close. Part, folks. We'll catch up later. Whew. Okay, well, I got the bed with some blankets and pillows, even. You got some good pillows here, bro. Yep, got that done, and I'm tired. Uh, I'm just waiting for William to get home, and then I'll go to sleep. But I guess I'll show you. Oh. Put the rug in here. I haven't, I haven't cleaned in here, and so I'll have to clean, but... I just kind of got everything staged so that when no one's here tomorrow night, I can put them to work. Oh, and then down here, just set up William, William's bed. Threw some random stuff in here that we'll go through. And then again, this bathroom has not been cleaned, but at least there's soap and a towel and toilet paper. Down here is looking better too. Got minimal. Clutter. I put all the garbage and stuff under the stairs. Got all the music stuff there. I kind of just put pictures where I thought potentially they could go. Again, we got nothing in there except for soap and toilet paper. All the decor type stuff is over there. Just threw some stuff up here to make it look homey. Table looks homey. I got this cart today off of Facebook Marketplace. It's my little coffee cart. The bottom's a little jacked up, so I'll maybe have to have no one fix that. But anyway. We're looking good, guys. Got everything cleaned up in here. We'll bring the island in tomorrow, put the chalkboard up. Yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Feeling really good about it. We even have all the kitchen cabinets stocked. I'm gonna open all of them because I just, I wanna show you all of the beautifulness. Yes, Tupperware. We got silverware in here some of our random utensils in here. This drawer with the Ziploc stuff. And then down here, we got pots and pans. Okay. And here, we just got some miscellaneous strainers and the KitchenAid bowl that actually comes KitchenAid. But, man, look at this beautiful bowl. I love it. Cleaning supplies down there. Um, 
up here I cleaned up wrong side the spice rack so they actually look decent those were in there when we got here but I think I'll use them so that's that and here we got our pot holders oh yeah and here we have kitchen towels around that blue theme which is very nice matches the tupperware here we got all of our baking sheets and some cutting boards in the mixer and up here we just have more baking stuff and some random brown sugar also took a trip to costco today and so the fridge isn't very full because i mostly got stuff for the pantry and a few freezer things so we're not gonna starve folks and in here yeah we're actually pretty stocked so we're looking good i'm feeling good it's feeling definitely more like a home now i'm really excited to put the island in here tomorrow with nolan that will just make it 10 times better and give me tons more counter space and storage which is where all that stuff's gonna go it will fit nicely in the island because the island has you can't even see okay you can has under so this is where the bar stools will sit and then on the back side there's shelving so there's like storage back there so just waiting for William, then I am going to bed because I got firefighting school in the morning at 5.45. Peace. Also, today, oh, oh, totally forgot to mention, I had an ammo onload today, which basically means we got underway from the pier and drove down to... Naval Station Norfolk, where we were getting all the big ammo. What we had to do, we drove there. I had to do all the nav brief stuff, so it's really kind of nerve-wracking because you know you're supposed to know like where you're going and all the wind and every all the different factors into navigation. And anyway, it was stressful. But then when we got there, the ammo onload. Basically, what you do is you stand from the edge of the ship to the magazine where the ammo is kept and you daisy chain it so literally you have this big huge what is it even called shell i don't know but it's the one for the big guns they go ch -ch 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 -ch. anyway it's like this big and you just like daisy chain them through the hallway it diver sleeves all the way down because it's like fire retardant and you just pass it along and that took three hours we we're doing this for three hours, my forearms are sore. I'm tired. And then on the way back, I had to drive the boat under like the coach's instruction, but basically I'm the one telling the helmsman, the one who's actually moving the rudder, how to move it and how much of each engine to put on, whether we're going back or forward. So that was stressful. And then at the end of the day, I was on my way home and I got a call from a coworker who basically said that I didn't do something I was supposed to do that is prohibiting someone from going to the firefighting school tomorrow so that was negative but it's all good and i miss nolan a lot and i spent too much money at costco but it's 11 16 i'm gonna go baby wipe shower myself because i don't have my shower curtain on yet and go to sleep once William gets here because yeah all is good growing learning loving Yes. So y'all, I got back from work today, firefighting school I mean, and then I fell asleep and when I woke up, we didn't have power. <laughs> but your girl has done it again. I figured out how to be an adult and call the electric company and set up our power. Hello everyone, present day Erin here coming at you from off the coast of Africa, and you can definitely tell I've been out in the sun. So, we are, uh, I am almost done with my second patrol. I say almost done, meaning we have like three weeks left, but it's been a three month patrol. So, we're on the back end of it. Um, and yeah, hello. Um, the last year, our first ensign year, has been. It's not even over yet, but it's been uh, quite busy, quite crazy. We've been learning a lot. And although I haven't been able to 
post videos consistently and coherently. Uh, I do have a lot of footage and I want to put that footage together for you so that you can see what we've been up to, see what we've been learning. And honestly, it's probably as real and raw as you're gonna get. Um, it's not perfect and like I said, not coherent. Not every video is going to be perfectly edited the way that I wish it could be, but I still wanted to put it together in some shape and form to share with you. Uh, I think, again, like I said, hopefully you can get something out of it and kind of just see what life has been like out here in the, the real life ghost guard. So uh, as far as this video goes, Nolan and I ended up in the house that you saw, but uh, as far as finding the house, house hunting goes, we went down from the academy during our finals week. Uh, we only had one final and then we had a few days um, off to kind of do what we wished. And so we drove down to Nolan's house in Virginia with a load of our stuff so we didn't have as much to bring after graduation. So anything we didn't need, we brought down to his house as like a staging point. Okay, you gotta explain what we got going on here. To who? To the camera. <laughs> well, Aaron's going through all the stuff that we got from the registry that I added on there. And then I'm going through the bins that I had packed from earlier. And we decided to organize it mm -hmm. so it'd be or make moving in easier. Yeah, I'm just consolidating all this stuff and Labeling it, so we know it's in every bin. Camping bin. Yeah. So yeah, slow day, rainy day, but we're out here. <laughs> this is everything we own in one pile. I guess that stuff over there in our trunks in the garage, but yep, that's everything. All the registry stuff and boxes and all of our stuff from the academy. And then we were looking for a house down in Virginia Beach and we were starting um, off by looking for a house to rent, uh, but then our approach changed a little bit. Hello? Hello. You want to kick it off? Yeah. So it's finals week. We both finished and passed our nav exams and then we were able to leave campus. We decided we'd take this time to go back home to my house and then we'll bring a load of stuff home and then also house hunt down Virginia Beach. So that's where we're at right now. Day two of house hunting actually. Yesterday started out kind of on a depressing note. We were really excited for our house and then they were like, submit the Zillow application. And then we did like that morning, we were gonna go see it that afternoon. And then I was like 30 bucks. And then before we even got to see it, they had already rented it out. Mm -hmm. And then we were gonna go tour an apartment, the one we're actually going to right now. And our tour wasn't in the system, I guess, which now looking back, like, <laughs> didn't matter. We should have just showed mm -hmm. up anyway. But so then we were kind of depressed and then we were like, man, we got nothing to do down here in Virginia Beach. <laughs> so. But then we were driving and we just passed some apartments and I was like, you know, we should just stop by and just walk in. So we did. And for I uh, saw so our first apartment, and honestly, that kind of like sparked our interest in apartments more because we hadn't really been thinking about it because we just wanted, you know, a house with a yard and a garage, which is still a desire, but we kind of realized it'd be more realistic to look at some apartments. So we stopped in there. What'd you think of that? Well, pretty much we figured out that the housing market is just insane, and in that the thing about houses is like yes i do want a house but looking at a house right now is like day trading because they're like up you know available one minute and then the next minute they're not available and so the thing is though you keep having to go look at them to see like what the quality is of like each house which takes a lot of time versus like an apartment complex you just kind of go visit it once and then you know it's good and then you just kind of have to wait for an availability and so i was a little sad about that because you know i like houses and stuff and want a yard and 
whatnot. But I think we just realized that that's not going to be feasible with the amount of time that we have here. And then also that it kind of fits into a, like a larger strategic goal of saving more this tour for a down payment for a house some other time. So delayed gratification. Yep, so then we kind of switched it up to apartments and we had no idea how to look at apartments. I hadn't even really looked into apartments that much. And so we've been learning. Uh, we just like started stopping at random places on the side of the road. The first, well, the second one we stopped in, it was like free garage with every unit and we yep. just pulled over, so. Yeah, that was funny. It just had like a big banner. It was actually right across from the church, which Aaron kept saying to drive to. Just go to the church, just go to the church. And we kept finding places, so. Yep, so then the strategy going into today was just uh, go see as many apartments as possible. And we saw one this morning that we really liked, the hideaway at Greenbrier, and just, just calling our name. And so now I think we're on our way back to get our first place. But we stayed at Jordan's last night, Yojin's. That was good. Yeah, it's a good bonding experience. Learned a lot, so. Any no, other we're starving. Updates? We're starving. Okay, he's starving. We're gonna get food. So Chick Fil A behind us. I have, a, I have a gift card. Let's go. Let's go. It's a Chick Fil A center. I don't know. Fancy. All right. See you later. <laughs> this is the only time you're ever getting parked this close. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think the height of this unit helps you that as well. Um, last night, you feel? Got a place secured. Got a place secured. Yep. It's a little nervous. I mean, signing contracts is always yeah. something to do. But I guess everybody does it. So. I know. Got to do it one place or another. But it's not 100% yet. We've still got to get our application mm -hmm. approved and then figure out the logistics of moving. Right now, we just realized what we put in to move in. 31st, so now we're in the pickle. Do we have to pay May's rent? Hmm. I don't know. But we're we'll figuring it out. out. Slowly but surely. Go team. So here we thought we ended up with an apartment, but that place kind of ended up being not as uh, as great as we would have liked. And also at graduation, Nolan's dad was talking to one of our classmates' parents and he said that he actually, his wife had a house in Virginia Beach that they were looking to rent out. And so, as always, God came through and provided us with a perfect place to live and we've been enjoying it since. I mean, at least when we've been in port. So, yes, like I said, the next couple weeks you're going to be seeing some of the videos I've tried to piece together for you. Hopefully they make at least somewhat sense and then eventually we'll get back to some more present time videos but we'll see. Life is crazy and I'm just living in the moment and appreciating everything that God has put in front of me. So hope you guys are doing well. Keep looking up and I'll see you when I see you.